Hello, Cancerians. How are you? Welcome. My name is Misty the Mystic. Welcome to Sugarfoot Tarot. A chance for my heart and soul to connect with yours and for my angels and guides to hang out with your angels and guides. Thank you very much. If you would like your own personal reading, um, check me out on SugarfootTarot.com or any of my social medias. Please check out the videos of your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus sign to get a real view of what your month of September 2020 is going to look like. Yes, this is a forecast for September 2020 for love for Cancerians. And hello to my cross watchers that are watching for others that are Cancers that are in their lives. Um, I have chosen um, cactuses for September. Uh, I feel this is what the world is going to feel like, or at least America is going to feel that's the energy um, for September is going to be kind of prickly. Um, so I have chosen, or we have chosen, the Legacy of the Divine Tarot for September. There's a lot going on in the heavens and, and the, the planets. I'll list it below, so we're not taking up too much time. You definitely can check that out. And... Um, so, let's go ahead and change the energy and get started, okay? Fantastic. So, um, when I was meditating and asking my angels and guides the forecast for Cancerians, September 2020 for love, I saw um, you... In the ocean, the wide, vast ocean, you're holding your breath, but you're not straining, you're not panicking. And as you're swimming, you're seeing all these fish, they're ways from you, but they're swimming, big fish, little fish, but they're not near you. So they're about, goodness, a block away, and you're just observing. You're observing what's happening in the world and with your life and how it's affecting your life. And, and so I shuffling the cards because I wanted to um, have them ready for when I started my mobile phone. And this fell out. Um, so worry. Worry for the world. Um, I see you worried. Worries about your single life. Your cup, if you're a couple. Your daily life. Um, you're just worried about concerned of what you're seeing about the world and in your world and, and whom you're dealing with who you're and five number five is all change change what's going on so this is what fell out as after i meditated for you so let's dive in love september 2020 cancerians and let's go ahead and cut the deck let's look at the bottom of the deck first Page of Wands. So there is a lot of passion going on in your world and the outside world. And the reason why I'm bringing in the outside world is because that's what I was seeing in the vision is you observing your world, your town, your state, your country, and the world. Um, you could have fire in your charts. You could have fire sign in your chart. Um, if you're single, you could meet a fire sign. Um if you're a couple, you could be with a fire sign, or you could have children. If you're single, you could have children that's a fire sign. Um, but you could be extremely passionate about what's going on in your world, in your town, in your state, in your country. Um, I just see a lot of passion ignited. Okay. Top of the deck. Two of coins. So you're balancing you're trying to balance what's happening, trying to make a decision on what to do. A lot of water. I see a water. I see the chakras. Lower chakras. Middle chakras. But you're on a two-row bike. Two-two, that could be a four. I know it's a two-car, but this is a four number. 2020 is a four number. So I see that you are definitely struggling. Seven of Swords, wanting to get away. Wanting to get away from what you're seeing, what you're doing, what you're dealing with at home, at work. Maybe they're making us go back to work, or you particularly, or you need to, and you, you're not, you, you don't want to, you're not ready to. Someone in your life may need to go back to work, and you're feel, fearful for them. Um, 
your country, your world could be falling apart or how you perceive that it is, even though you know that we're going to rebuild in 2021. Um, you got a magpie, water, there's water in here, there's, there's air. Um, the leaves are starting to fall, so you know September, October, November, December could be tough, but, but you have to have hope. You have to have hope. You can't, please don't worry. Um, the world will be fine. We're going to make it through the recession or anything going on at home. If there's anything going on that you're trying to make a decision about or deal with, have hope. Unite that flame that's in you and you can get through anything. Um, you know, Cancerians, they're crabs. They can live on the water or they can live on the beach or they can live in water. They can live one foot in the past, one foot in the future, past, present, future. So you have all the power. Um, don't escape by overeating or drinking or drugs or, you know, everyone needs to escape now and then. Jumping on YouTube, you know, escaping, watching um, silly movies or watching movies. Bring laughter in. If you're going to watch movies, watch comedy, laugh. Um, but you're going to want to get away, or someone's going to want to try to get away from you, but I, I don't see that. You're worried about money. You could be with an earth sign, and you're worried about that earth sign and money. You could be worried about yourself, worrying about jobs. Um, I know this is a love read, but lo the lo earth is love. So um, there's worry there. You're worried for your family, worry about yourself, worry about the world, worry about the economy. Um, again, I see two. So you're going to balance out. You're going to be just fine. You're going to be just fine. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. That's you. King and Queen of Cups. So wonderful. Um, again, this is what I saw. You were in here and you're observing. Keep observing. Keep seeing what's going on. Um, um, it's, it's, you're going to, you're going to make it through the tsunami, the tidal wave, the hurricane, the eye of the storm. You're going to make it. Your family is going to make it. The world is going to make it. Um, escape is probably a good thing. Let that go. Don't worry so much. Your heart is really attached. So take that escapism, but make it healthy escapism. Go for a walk. Go for a run. Exercise. Do yoga. Take up a hobby. Do puzzles. Read. Take up sewing. Learn a new language. Anything with heart, with the passion. Unite that passion and it'll get you away from what you're worried about at home and abroad. Good luck. Wheel of Fortune is turning. The wheels are turning. The wheels are turning into karma. Things are changing. Um, you're highly psychic. You will see the world is changing. So this is your hope. This is your faith. Cling to your beliefs, your faith, whatever that is. Cling to that and that will get you through. Okay? Ooh, Ten of Wands. So, you might have a little bit of depression. There might be a little bit of struggling, crawling through the madness of whatever is happening at home or abroad. Um, remember, take these crystals. Have faith. Um, faith is coming. Karma is coming. Bad people will get their due. Good people will win out. There has to be good and bad to make the world. There has, just like, you're probably too young, but like the dark crystal. You know, one, the good one died, the bad one had to, and vice versa. You have to have good and bad. So, find an outlet. This is that escapism I was talking about. Escape in a healthy way. Um, cook, but cook for a bunch of people. Don't eat all of it yourself. Exercise. Get out and about. Put your feet in the grass. Don't crawl through it. Stand in your space. Escape by daydreaming. Read books. Download books. Um, you won't go through this if you if you do have that escapism. Escapism is probably isn't a word. Sorry, my whole life people have called them mistyisms because I make up words. I apologize. Ten of cups. This is the way it's going to end. It's all going to be wonderful. Your home is going to be your sanctuary, your castle, your apartment will be the only place on earth that isn't tainted by the outside world. So 
So hold on to your friends and family and your pets. Have that gratitude and love and just gratitude for everything. Even down, if you find a favorite pen that writes perfectly, be like, thank you for this, this pen today. Like, show gratitude, love. Just love, love, love. Escape the healthy way. Don't worry about the world. The world will get its due. People will get its due. Bad people will get it. Good people will get the good things coming to them. So this doesn't affect you. Yes, it affects your family, but hold on to the family. Whatever happens in September, and I believe it's going to be a cactus, um, just hold on to your family, okay? I love you, my, my Cancerians. Hold on. You've got this. If you want your own personal reading, grab me a Sugarfoot Tarot. Thank you. Bye-bye.